So this past week uh, on Wednesday, I had the privilege of being in Will Zalatoris's group in the Pro-Am as a PGA ambassador. So got to walk around inside the ropes with, uh, with Will, very impressive player, as you all can see from what he's been able to do the last couple of years. This is hole number two at Bay Hill, about 220 downhill slightly. This is a six iron. Don't have a perfect angle, but I'm, I want to explain a couple things that uh, really are important when it comes to becoming a really good ball striker. And all the PGA Tour players, LPGA Tour players do this to some degree. Some do it more than others, but Will really does uh, this powerful move. It's, it's very easy to see in his golf swing. Uh, so let's talk about what that is. First of all, the other thing I... I wish I could have done is just videotaped all, every player that came through and their, their grips are are all really, really good. Um, the one thing you might see is slightly strong with, with a few players. And, and even there was a couple strong left-hand grips, right? The right-hand grip on the club was always uh, about the same. It really was. Um, so again, there, there's Will, good grip, good stuff here. I got this in slow motion. So I'm going to focus on the forward swing. And, and there he gets up to the top. And what I want you to watch is, is how he starts to increase the angle. Let's see if I can measure that here. Let's see. Uh, we'll, we'll go with that angle. So that says 96 degrees. But watch how he starts to really increase that as he's coming down. All right, I'm, I'm not going to measure that. It'll get all messy. But, hey, this is, it looks like he's in front of it. But remember, my camera angle is a little bit off. All right, let's go back a little bit more. Watch how his lower body goes forward, and he, he is really increasing the angle of the shaft relative to his left forearm. Once he gets cl the club parallel to the ground, his hands are almost to the golf ball. And once you're there, you just have to square the face, and you're Angle of attack is going to be appropriate. You're going to hit ball ground. Very common for that to occur. Very unusual to hit behind it. All right. Um, and you're increasing the club head speed significantly by being able to keep that angle right there. Now, when some, some people say, oh, you don't want to hold the angle. These are all words that we use to communicate with students. Um, sometimes... A word like hold the angle can create a problem because, the, yeah, you got to have a, a little bit of an angle, but you have to let that angle go as you approach impact and you get into post-impact position. So as he keeps coming down, the handle of the club is pulling the club head, much like... Uh, if you're pulling a trailer with the truck. So the, the truck would be the handle right there, represented by the circle, and the trailer would be the club head. So if you've ever pulled a boat or, or a trailer of some kind, it's not, everyone can do that. But backing it up is a different story. So what we, with good players, the handle is leading and the club head is following. Okay, that, and right in this position here, the club centrifugal force is going to start pulling the club head down. And, he's in, and the player's intentionally dropping the club head on the ball. It's not as if it happens automatically. He's trying to drop it right on the, on the golf ball. And then when he gets to impact, and that's quite close to impact. Let's see where it goes. No, let's go to this one. We'll call this slightly post-impact. All right. Now, if you've been watching any of my videos, from the shoulder down to the handle, down to the club head, 
When you get in a straight line, it has to occur after impact. And that's, and he is, he's still not in a straight line. Maybe about right there, he gets in a straight line. He gets into a straight line from the left shoulder to the handle of the club, way past impact. Look where he is right here. The club head is still just coming off the ground now. You can see the divot. Look at the left wrist, okay? That is, uh, we call a bowed left wrist. That is a, what a good player's doing right there. Great stuff. But notice where he is when the club is just about parallel ground. See the, the glove of the left hand underneath the right forearm? Again, all the things that shown you guys plenty of these videos. There you go, right there. He's released the club. He's not holding the club all the way through impact. He's, he's releasing it. He just releases it later. That's all it is. 220 yard six iron. Not bad. I got one more video for you from Will. All right. Thanks.